Shilu wa me shola wa nist of zoos ba gimno praise ti aba shem ya shai The balona to suppose the GMS and honest two brothers that are doing the work in truth wa sincerity Just watching, finish watching uh, Over an hour ago now This documentary, The Human Body Secrets of Your Life Revealed It's in the BBC, I don't know if you'd be able to access it in America uh, We know outside uh, the the UK, I believe, um, you can only re uh, really watch it <coughs> in the UK, so lucky. Right, but you know, I, I watch this, it is a documentary, and then you know, they're going into certain things, you just you know, you just marvel, you think, damn, the works of the Lord are amazing. If you think about, for instance, um, <coughs> what's the same, what one of the things they got, got into was, um, uh, in the first couple of minutes, because this this uh, first episode is all about growth, so it goes from when you are young to when you're old, and obviously w with anything that Esau brings out, you're always going to take with a pinch of salt, right? But you know, we there is a saying, "Breast is best," which is why these women are going off for, for uh, you know, not giving their their children breast milk, man, and giving them formula. Right? So, and if, if I had it uh, available, I would share, but. I uh, saw this pitch basically a woman uh, breastfed her child um, for some reason she put it in a, a, a plastic sachet I don't know whether she planned to show it or not and it was one color then later on it was another color when the child was ill basically showing that the uh, uh, the would you call it the, the milk changes when the child is sick right so that it gives the right nutrients to the child etc 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 but one of the things they go into in this documentary Right, is that uh, it says a large part of human milk cannot be digested by babies, right? And it's this uh, sugar, right? For a long period period of time, people wondering, damn, what, what's the point of this sugar? What's going on? Uh, what, what causes it? Uh, what? Why is it there? So basically, one of the things that this team of scientists did, right, by this guy Bruce German, um, I think that's how you pronounce his name, or Bruce German, no, they pronounce Bruce German. He basically, him and his team, observed that when you have the, uh, would you call it the, 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 the this, this, this sugar, this uh, uh, molecule in human milk that cannot be digested, right? They, they basically threw one bacteria at it, didn't do anything. They, this and that and that, but until finally, right, they, they, uh, they threw one bacteria at it, right? This milk that produced by uh, this sugar produced by human milk. And basically what it does is it this bacteria thrives but then you look at what this bacteria does is it basically lines the intestines of a child when the child is growing which helps uh, of a baby rather which helps the baby prevent the baby from uh, getting ill now uh, I don't know if I've explained that well enough but basically the ba the, the, the milk has this substance which cannot be digested but its sole purpose is to feed this bacteria which protects the baby's uh, uh, gut right. and, and, and it's, it's little things like that which makes you think about how the Lord has made everything perfect everything in its perfection right, so we'll get into the scriptures of Psalms 111 and 1 it says praise ye Yahweh I will praise Yahweh with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation the works of Yahweh are great, right? And and I was saying, you look you look all around. That's one thing I personally never understood. Uh, growing up, uh, learning and studying biology, uh, you know that's that's not what I do. But you know that's not something I I was into. But obviously, at school you get taught this shit. Uh, not shit. This you know you get taught biology and all of that, and you just think, damn, the, the Lord is great. How do you go from studying biology to then thinking there is no God? That just never really computed for me, you know. It's even, uh, you know, even more so as you, as you grow in this truth. You're like, man, shit, the Lord is far out there, man. Right? It's just sought out of all of them that have pleasure therein. His work is honourable and glorious, and the righteous endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. Yet how is gracious and full of compassion, right? It says, Sirach 39 and 16, says, All the works of the Lord are exceeding good. So all of them. 
Well, and you might think, oh man, you know, uh, what about snakes or a python or whatever, what have you, or weeds. This is um, <coughs> I remember of um, Bob of Quam here in the London camp was basically speaking on it um, about how wildfires have have a purpose. And I remember looking into weeds as well. Right when you when you look at weeds, weeds are actually a sign that your your land is bad, your land is poor, and that you need to uh, take better care of your land. Right, because weeds have longer roots, which means that they can bring the nutrients up from the very bottom and bring it all the way up to the top. Sort of like parasites. Parasites have a function in your body, right? But just like the weeds, the problem is the way that the world is set up today is that we. You know, in terms of weeds, we just the land doesn't get taken care of, so weeds just grow in abundance. And like with the parasites that live in your body, we eat too much junk. The food quality is poor, health and standard, etc., etc., is poor. Meaning that the uh, that uh, th that the parasites just grow and grow and grow. But all of these things have a purpose. Like I said, I'm sure if you look up the you know the snake, you know that that has purposes. I think um, a lot of them, you know, like I said, everything is made in balance. Everything has a use and a purpose. And also, you know, scripture is saying, Job 4 and 7, that um, no man, uh, n never did any perish being innocent. So if a snake is killing up some some uh, some heathens and that, hey, that's scriptural. That, you know, or some wicked person, rather. You know, that's just what it is. That's what the Lord, you know, declared for that animal to do. Read Sirach 39 and 28 talks about um, how the Lord is it 34, 39 and 28? Is it? It's, are we actually here? Yeah, we are actually here. It says, There be spirits created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore store strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, these were created for vengeance. That is the point that I was speaking on earlier on. It says, the teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Right? So, all, like I said, go, going back to the point, all of the works of the Lord are exceeding good. And you can't, you, well, let me read it in verse 17. It says, and, none ma and none may say, what is this? Wherefore is that? For at a time convenient, they shall all be sought out at his commandment. The water stood as in the heat, and at the words of his mouth, the receptacles of water... Right, I was just to say what I thought it said, but basically everything has its use. When you look at Genesis 1, you have this saying that goes on and on and on. It says, it was good, it was good, it was good. Right, so this is after every, you know, this and that was created. And it says, that, you know, and power saw that it was good. The power saw that it was good, that that was good. Why? Right? Because everything was good. <laughs> you know, it, it, and and that's that's just the truth of it. Right. This is Job 37, um, uh, I'm going to start from verse 5, it says, The Most High thundereth marvelously with his voice, great things doeth he which cannot com which we cannot comprehend. Yeah, we can't comprehend how all of this stuff happens. You know, you, you, you will just meditate on certain things and you start bugging up like, hey man, look man, that's, that's, that's too hard for me man. That's why the scriptures say, sing not the things that are too hard for thee. Well, because you can't, you can't comprehend the ways of the Lord. In fact, when you read Second Ezra, the fourth chapter, I believe, or First Ezra, is four, when the angels basically uh, get in on Ezra, saying, "Look, can you do this? Can you do that? That's that's things on earth. How then can you try and comprehend the ways of the Lord?" Scriptures also say, "My ways are not your ways. You know, my thoughts are not your thoughts. We can't think the way the Lord thinks." But Esau wants to, which in the same documentary, you know, Esau will be making hearts and shit, doing this, that, and you know, just going, doing things that aren't convenient, right? Fulfilling scripture, which says, uh, he, he, um, he basically puts himself in the seat of God, saying that he is the most high, right? It says, uh, verse 6, back in Job 37 and 6, it says, For he saith to the snow, Be thou on earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. Then the beasts go into den, and remain in their places. Out the soul cometh the whirlwind, and the cold out of the north. By the breath of the most high frost is given, and the breadth of the waters is straightened. Also by watering he wearieth the thick cloud. He scattereth his bright cloud, 
and it is returned and it is turned round about by his counsels that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the world and the earth. And that's the thing, the Lord commands everything, the Lord is in control of everything. Like this is this is a supreme being. You think about all of the things that have to happen for anything to happen. <laughs> You know, beat people all you know, you have people who survive like tragedy say, you know, oh man, you know, I'm always like for instance you had this uh, uh there was a tram crash over here in London um earlier on this year. And you basically this woman had to she was thinking, Man, why is my baby keeping me up? Baby's all crying, all ill, this, that and the other. And because of that very fact she missed the tram. But the night before, she's all complaining, oh, oh fucking hell, kids keeping me up. But she missed her usual tram because of that. And, and like I said, these are all of the things that happen. The, the, you know, the amount of things that happen for something not to happen. Because then you think, okay, it doesn't actually start that night. You know, the child is ill. Who did, it, who, who did the, the child catch the illness from? Did he catch that nursery? Okay, then you caught it at nursery. Then you've got many different avenues. Which child did they catch it from? Maybe that child wouldn't have been, could have been more ill and not been in that day. Maybe that, um, maybe they may have lived in a different area. Uh, you know, why did the child go to that nursery? You know, what if she'd moved, she lived somewhere else and the child went to another nursery and the child never, you, you see, you know, I think you get the picture that I'm trying to paint. You know, the amount of things that have to happen from the foundations of the earth just to end up at one point. And the Lord is controlling all of that in perfect balance, even Esau being the devil that he is. But let me uh, continue. Right, it says, verse 13 says, he, he calls it to come, whether for correction or for his land or for mercy. Hearken unto this, O Job, stand still and consider the wondrous works of Moses. Well, like I said, I'm watching this documentary, this thing on milk, and I'm thinking, yo, the works of the Lord are amazing. Right? It says, dost thou, uh, it says, dost thou, dost, dost thou know when the Most High disposed him and caused the light of his cloud to shine? Dost thou know the balance of the clouds, the wondrous works of him which is perfect in knowledge? When the word Lord is perfect in the knowledge. Yeah, how was perfect in my Jesus? He's the most high. <laughs> right, let me get a uh, well, 23 and 20. It says, He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, He looketh upon them all. Right, the Lord made everything perfect, man. Right, this is uh, so 2nd Ezra 6 and 38. It says, and I, and I said, O Lord, thou speakest from the beginning of the creation even the first day and says thus let heaven and earth be made and thy word was a perfect word right so I just wanted to get into that real quick Lord we've been edified in that I'm a session of one